Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer, and it's Tuesday, which just like we do every Tuesday, it's time to bring you guys up to speed on all the updates and changes that have happened in the online video space, especially here on YouTube. And the first thing you guys need to know about is that YouTube is now letting you guys who have like old channel URLs that you no longer like and no longer really fit your branding. Like, so for maybe example, you know, years ago, you started your channel and you set up youtube.com slash catlicker69, right? And that was you back then, and it was awesome but it's not you anymore and now your YouTube channel URL no longer matches your branding. In that case, I hope you've moved on past that one. And so YouTube is now finally letting you guys update your YouTube channel's URL to reflect your branding. Now there's a couple requirements that you need to have in place for this. One is that you need to have at least 500 subscribers on your channel. You need to have a channel icon, a channel header image, and your channel needs to be at least 30 days old. And if you meet all those requirements and you go into your creator dashboard, you should see a notification there that like prompts you to say, hey, would you like to update your YouTube channel URL? And the thing I have found with this though, is that even if you do meet all those requirements, you may or may not be eligible. I haven't quite figured out what makes you eligible or not yet, but I have noticed that I have several channels that have over 500 subscribers and I haven't seen this notification on any of them. It might be because I have vanity URLs set up and in case you're not sure what that is, like. For example, this channel here, Video Creators, the actual URL is youtube.com slash user slash video creators TV. However, if you also go to youtube.com slash video creators, you'll see that it just redirects right here to the same channel, you know? So I don't, I, I, most of the channels that I have have vanity URLs. And the other thing about the whole channel claiming thing, URL thing is that it's not actually now youtube.com slash that C, which I'm assuming stands for channel. Although you are getting your branded channel URL now that has that little C there instead of user. And it's also not just like youtube.com slash whatever like we're used to. If you wanna learn more about how to change your channel's URL or snag a custom one or just update it, there's a link in the description below this video that'll take you straight to the YouTube help page that'll outline the process for you and hopefully that'll be helpful and valuable for you guys as you try to make all the branding on every aspect of your channel kind of align a little bit better using this. The second thing we need to talk about guys is when you do brand deal videos, how you keep those videos safe so they don't get taken down for violating FCC guidelines and things like that. That happened recently, just last week, to several YouTubers and I'm gonna talk about that in a second and give you guys some tips and ideas for how to do that. But first of all, where could you land a brand deal in the first place? Well, this month's sponsor here on Video Creators is FameBit.com. And if you're not familiar, FameBit.com is simply a place where you can go in, log in with your YouTube channel, and just simply browse through their marketplace of many different brands and companies who are looking for YouTube creators like you to help them feature their products and their services. Simply find one that you think would fit your content and your channel's audience very well, submit your proposal. FameBit makes it very easy for you to interact directly with a company so once your video has been accepted and you've published it to your channel, then only a few days later you get paid. And you potentially make a lot more money from brand deals like this than you will from your AdSense revenue. So check out the link in the description below to go directly to their site and check it out if you are a YouTube creator who does want to start working with brands and making more money on your channel or simply go to famebit.com. You can check them out there as well. But once you do land those brand deals, how do you keep your videos out of trouble so that you people don't feel like manipulated or confused that like is he getting sponsored by this or not so like here are video creators whenever I have like a sponsored who's like paying me to talk about them I always say I, I say this is my sponsor this is a sponsor the links in the description as you will see have big like sponsor you know in front of it so there's hopefully no confusion however last week Several YouTubers were doing a brand deal with Oreo cookies and they didn't really give that a clear disclaimer and make it clear that this is a paid advertisement that you guys are watching. And so in the UK, those videos got pulled down and they got into trouble for that. And then the whole brand deal just went flop after that. You guys do not want to do that to the brands that you are dealing with and, and helping. So the question though is that a lot of these creators are saying, well, if we actually just come out and say, 
advertisement, you know, adv not, not high voice, <laughs> you know, they just come out and make it really clear that it's an advertisement. A lot of their viewers will maybe not watch the video because maybe it doesn't feel as like real or as authentic or like, oh, they're just getting paid to say this, you know, and so like it, it loses some credibility. Here in the US, the FCC doesn't have like a strict law that makes it super like black and white what you need to do, but they do encourage you to verbally communicate some place in the video, preferably at the beginning that this is a paid advertisement or this is a paid sponsorship or such something verbally to the effect that you are getting paid to make some part of this video. It doesn't have to be verbal. There's other ways to do it. Just don't mislead your audience in some way. That's really what it comes down to. But a lot of you guys know as creators, as soon as you start talking about like, hey, this is a sponsorship, but this is paid, you know, you might lose your audience. You might even lose some credibility with some of them. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below, especially from those of you who have done brand deals. What advice do you have for other creators who are getting into brand deals and they know they need to have a disclaimer, full disclosure of some sort? How do you recommend that they best do that? How, what if you find works best for you and your content and your audience? Please share those down there with the rest of us and even including me, like I'm pretty new to brand deals and I'm learning a lot from you guys also. Another link in the description below this video that you will find goes to a post about how Facebook video performs differently from than YouTube video. And I mean by content, I know maybe we kind of intuitively know that but there was a recent video that went like super viral on Facebook and got only like a couple thousand views on YouTube and in this article new media rock stars asked the question why and the reason I'm sharing with this with you guys is because I do think that it's true that the kind of video content that performs really well on Facebook is different than the type of content that is performing very well on YouTube I feel like where YouTube was maybe like four three or four years ago is kind of where Facebook video is now as far as the type of content that gets shared and goes viral and it's highly successful. And we kind of know that's true because a lot of the stuff that we see trending on Facebook is stuff that went viral on YouTube many years ago. Someone else just took it off YouTube, re-uploaded it to Facebook, and now it's going viral all over again. So as creators yourself, what type of content have you found works really well on Facebook versus what type of content works really well here on YouTube? How have you maybe integrated some of your YouTube video efforts with Facebook video? would love to hear from you guys in the comments below also because I am experimenting with Facebook video, although the nature of this content here, video creators doesn't really, I mean, it's about YouTube, right? So it doesn't really do nearly as well on Facebook. But I am experimenting with Facebook video in other ways and also with Vine, guys, like Vine is, really fun actually <laughs> it's a lot of fun with it. that's a whole nother type of content that wouldn't do well on Facebook nor on on uh, YouTube so anyway link to my vine is down there too if you want to go follow me on there and see some of the experiments I'm doing on vine as well I actually have four other important stories to share with you guys that I will post over on video creators patreon page at patreon.com slash video creators for those of you guys who are supporting this channel and helping make all this possible thank you very much link to the patreon is also down there below if you guys want access to additional news stories and other perks that I'm making available for you guys who are helping support this. So go check that out. And if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. Every Tuesday, we take a look at the online video news updates, talk about the implications it has for us as creators. Tomorrow on Wednesdays, we'll give you guys some YouTube tips, ideas, suggestions, and advice. And then on Thursdays, we do some YouTube Q&A where I take a question for one of you guys and do my best to answer it to help you guys out with the channels and audiences that you're developing. Because I really believe a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread, that the world needs to hear, and I want to do everything I can to help you guys spread those messages so that the people who just need to hear what you're sharing can easily just find you and hear what you have to say. So thank you guys for letting me be a part of helping you guys grow your channels and your audiences here on YouTube. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.